Hello, and welcome to another session of the eDocs training series. My name is Kimberly Ayers, and today I'll be showing you Advanced Searching, part of our Mastering eDocs Search series. In previous chapters, we got familiar with profile and content searches, then stepped up our game with wildcards and operators. In this chapter, we're going to cover some advanced topics, including quick searches. This tutorial is designed for advanced users who are already familiar with searching in eDocs, but want to go even further. Let's take a look at what we're going to cover. First, we'll discuss Easy Search, a function within the Quick Retrieve. Next, we'll go over the Search Within feature, which allows us to isolate our search to a single location. And finally, we'll look at Quick Searches, and how we can get the most out of this feature, including sharing saved searches with other users. Ready? Excellent, let's begin. The Easy Search field, which appears on the Quick Retrieve, allows you to perform searches by words, phrases, or document numbers. To use this, enter the words, phrase, or document number. If you're searching by words or phrase, you don't need to enter any special characters such as commas between the words. If you want to locate a single document by searching on the document number, simply enter the number. If you want to locate multiple documents by their document numbers, type a pound sign before each doc number. Click Find and you'll see your results. With the Search Within feature, you can choose to search within a specific folder or container, but limiting your search to the container. For example, if you've got a folder with thousands of documents and you want to find something, but you don't want to search all of the eDocs library, you can target that folder for searching. You can select any folder or container, then click Folder, Search Within, which makes the search window appear when you enter your search criteria. You can search within a folder from the left pane tree, from the results set on the right, from context sensitive menus when you right click, and top level menus. The quick search feature is the quickest way to retrieve your document if any of the following conditions are true. You know the document number or document name. The document is one of the last 30 documents you've edited. You've saved profile search criteria for a quick search the document is checked out, or the document is a template. Any search you do during an eDoc session can be found in the Quick Searches node. There are several different ways you can access Quick Searches. Outlook extension, Explorer extension, and a search results list. In extensions, expand the node of the library you wish to search. Expand Quick Searches to see any of your saved searches or recent searches. Simply double-clicking on any of the searches executes the search, returning results. The default quick searches are displayed along with any others you've saved as quick searches. You can also create shortcuts to quick searches by selecting a quick search from Explore Extension or Outlook Extension and dragging it where you want it. A shortcut menu is available when you right-click any quick search. The menu options are Search, Edit, Delete, Save, Libraries, and Search Criteria. Each of these is relatively straightforward. Select Search to perform a new search. Use Edit to modify the name or check the Autosave box. You can also change the Access Control, Search Form, and Criteria. Delete allows you to delete a quick search. Save allows you to save as a quick search. This is handy if you want to use that specific search again and again. Select Libraries to change the libraries that eDocs searches. Select Search Criteria to access the search form so you can change criteria. When you search, it is saved as a session search in your list of quick searches, which means you have access to the same search throughout the current session of eDocs you're logged into. To create a quick search, search as you normally would. From Search, select Save. Your session search is now saved as a quick search, but you're the only user who has rights to the quick search. The icon changes to indicate a session search has been saved. Remember, quick search saves the search criteria, not the results. 
To edit your search, right-click it and select Search Criteria. In the form, change the criteria and then click OK. The search is then saved with the changes. You'll notice when you choose to edit a search, you have several options available. As we just covered, Search Criteria lets you edit the criteria. Let's go over the others. With Name, you can choose a name for the search you're saving for easier reference. The name appears under Quick Searches in the Navigation pane. Under Edit, you can configure a handful of things. Access, Form, Criteria, and Autosave. Access lets you determine whether other users get access to this Quick Search. Click Form to change the Document Profile search form associated with the Quick Search. Click Criteria to edit your search criteria. Autosave will automatically save your session searches as quick searches, so you can return to them after logging out and back into eDocs. In addition, when you modify your search, the changes are automatically saved. When selected, this option applies to all quick searches. If you don't want edits to be saved automatically, clear the Autosave box. To allow other users to access your Quick Search, click Edit from the Quick Search dialog, then Access. The access rights are Edit Quick Search, meaning users with edit rights can edit search criteria, and Delete Quick Search, meaning users with delete rights are able to delete the search. From the available trustees listing, double-click Users and or Groups. In the list of available trustees, click the User or Groups, you want to grant access and then click Add. All added users and groups appear on the current trustees list with edit and delete rights granted by default. To change the rights, click a user or group and select only the access rights you want them to have. All trustees selected through this process will have the Quick Search appear on their Quick Search listing. To remove access to a Quick Search, click the user or group, then click Remove. The rights of the user or group to this quick search are revoked. Just remember you can't delete your own rights to a quick search. This has been Advanced Searching, part of our Mastering eDocs search series. For further information, we encourage you to review the documentation. Visit our YouTube channel to keep up with all videos in the eDocs training series. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more like it? Do you have ideas for other videos? Join the discussion on the eDocs DM forum in the Open Text Knowledge Center. Feel free to contact support if you need any further assistance. We'd be happy to help. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope you found it useful and that you'll be back for more in the eDocs training series.